What's going on guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going over the overhead press. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoy these type of videos. Let's dive into it. Tip number one guys is bar path. This is a common thing you'll see. You'll see a lot of people pushing the bar too far forward or too far backward and what that's gonna do more than anything is throw you off balance and make this exercise very sketchy. When you're moving upwards of 100 plus pounds over your head, you wanna make sure you're being safe and not injuring yourself. This is a really easy way to kind of pull a back muscle or pull a trap. That's something you really want to avoid. You wanna make sure you're doing this effectively and by so, you can see here I'm pushing way too far forward, look like an idiot, it's throwing me forward, it's putting a lot of unnecessary strain on the shoulder where it shouldn't be. If it's too far backward, I'm putting a lot of pain on that rear delt, really messing with that shoulder joint and feeling like I'm going to fall backwards and drop the bar on the person behind me who's minding their own business. And that is not fun. Don't be that guy. So instead of doing both those wrong versions, here you can see the right version. This is what the proper bar path looks like. Do that, trust me, thank me later. Common mistake number two is using the wrong type of momentum. Now there is such thing as a push press, which is a different video for a different day if you smash that like button. But oftentimes you guys will see people trying to do the OHP and they'll be putting so much force like onto their lower back by leaning back a lot. They'll kind of like lift their feet, they'll kind of do like some weird jerk and dance trying to get the weight up. And what you're doing is you're taking all of the actual activation off of your delts, which is what you're supposed to be doing here. So I think this calls for a captain cringe of what not to do when doing this exercise. I'm just a kid who's bored. Each day I go some more. Tip number trois, as we say in Canada, in the French language that I can't speak, <laughs> is head movement. So this is everything with OHP. A lot of people think that it's just like a shoulder press where you can just posture yourself head up, push, push, push. But by keeping the head up, you can't actually fully lock out with an OHP. So full lock out, you actually drive your head through and that's what's gonna really bring in that lateral delt. You get a little bit of rear delt work, not a ton, but that's why this is called the compound exercise because it compounds the shoulders together. You're gonna have everything anterior, posterior, lateral, and that's what you need for these big compound movements. So make sure you're doing it right, otherwise you're cheating yourself out of those gains and you're only working that anterior deltoid. So we really recommend, as you guys can see on the screen, left is wrong, right is right. It's a very clear difference. One side, I just have my head up, I'm not pushing through. Whereas the others, I have my head in the correct position and I'm pushing through and using that effectively. You also wanna make sure you're pushing your head through throughout the exercise, not just at the end, otherwise you're gonna kinda of stork out and have the bar fall backwards. Tip number 3.5, this one's huge. We actually forgot to put this in and I'm like, yo Kyle, we gotta film this, it's that important. If you guys aren't squeezing your glutes and squeezing your core, you're gonna have a lot of issues stabilizing yourself and you're gonna feel really wonky. It's very important you practice with the bar, learn how to squeeze your glutes and squeeze your abs. And that's what's really gonna plant you, plant you firm in that ground and allow you to be in a strong position to focus on that strong press. Take away all the nonsense from the rest of your body. Really just plant yourself in that floor and press nice and heavy. Hey guys, so starting off grabbing the bar, I like to grab it just outside of shoulder width where I'm feeling strong and not feeling a lot of tension like ripping on my shoulder. So right here is usually where I grab the bar. I get under it, I pull it backwards, and I start with it just on the top of my chest. And as I'm pushing up, you'll notice I'm pushing my head down. And you wanna make sure that when you go to the top, you're not fully locking out because you'll be putting a lot of strain on your elbows. But you're stopping just short of lockout with like a slight bend in the elbow. Down, up, So as for foot placement, I believe there's a lot of debate in this. Personally, what I've always done is I've always had my feet side by side. Now, something you need to keep in mind is it's very easy to compromise in this and start leaning back a lot, become unbalanced. So make sure you're using weight you can really handle. Whereas Josh actually does it a bit differently. He'll have one foot in front of the other. I believe this is honestly the stronger position. Um, so you guys can choose whichever one you want, whichever one makes you feel best while pressing and the most comfortable, um, you know, most comfortable way you can handle the most amount of weight and do it properly. Hopefully y'all are ready to OHP like a champion. I'm gonna expect some big numbers from all of you watching this. No matter what your goal is, make sure you're doing it right. Learn it right from the start. And then if that last rep you have some form breakdown, that's always normal with these how-tos. You can't always do 100% strict form, but ideally you wanna make sure you learn it, practice it that way, and majority of your reps are done to keep you safe. 
And that's one thing we're big about. That's why we haven't actually really experienced any injuries in the gym. So we've always tried to walk through it. So once again, if you guys like this, please smash that like button. It means the world. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. We've got tons of great content. Check out our how-to playlist, and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. What was that? We can add you to Captain Cringe. That's a Captain Cringe.